وی من نخشم می وی کام دایناتر بچوان قد گاش خیلی بايل قطع وی وی من نخشم می وی کام دایناتر بچوان قد گاش خیلی بايل قطع این وایل وی جاری So why is Allah saying to him the following ayah? Stay away, ya Muhammad, from idols. You're supposed to be a follower of Jesus, and you use the words like that. Well, it's, it's not my words. I, 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 it's not my words. It's the words of Allah. Are you embarrassed of Allah? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment that you all have been waiting for. For, 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 for. It's time! You are listening to the live broadcast of your friendly neighbor, Stream Doctor and Christian Polemicist. Polemicist, 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 Polemicist. The warrior for Christ and enemy of Allah and his messenger. Messenger, 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 messenger. This is your favorite YouTuber. Now, speaking from Cave, Hira, 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 Hira. Rob Christian, 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 Christian. Please fasten your seatbelts. We are back, baby. We are live, baby. Let's go. All right, all right. Welcome, everybody. God bless you. Nice to see you. I hope that everybody is doing great. Let me know if the live stream is working fine. God bless you. Man, it has been way too long, right, guys? Way too long. Let me know if the live stream is okay, uh, brothers and sisters. A good confirmation will be fine so we can continue. Pray that the live stream will be blessed, that everything will go smoothly. I know, right? I've been uh, gone for a long time. Yeah, you maybe have been seeing me uploading uh, short video clips, but just a second, guys. Just a second. Man. 
Yeah, I had to close the window, guys, because it was getting cold. All right. How is everybody? I hope everybody is doing great. Guys, uh, as you may know, I've d I didn't do a live stream for a couple weeks now. I think six, seven weeks. At least. I don't know. Alan knows breasts, right? I, I can't remember. I lost track. But anyway... <coughs> I had a, an accident, guys. I wasn't uh, in a really uh, good shape the last couple of weeks. But glory to Christ, because of all the prayers that I got from our dear brothers, beloved audience, many brothers and sisters uh, prayed for our recovery. And we we're slowly getting there. I'm not fully uh, healed yet, guys. But thank you for your awesome support, for your continued support. Uh Believing uh, in what we do. Uh, I want to thank everybody. God bless you, your loved ones and families. I can't thank you enough for so many years now, guys. Uh, I will always be speechless of um, how much love and how much support we are getting. We are not y there yet. We are not in full ministry yet. But I'm sure, uh, I'm sure the Lord will provide in the future. But thank you for your amazing support, your donations, your continued support for the live, uh, live streams and videos, the, mi the ministry that we are doing. Thank you, guys. God bless you. But keep us in your prayers so I will be rec recovered uh, fully. I will be healed fully by the glory of Christ in the name of Christ. Uh, I always need your prayers, guys. As you know, our, our lives are always at risk because we are exposing Islam, we're exposing the false prophet Muhammad and his main cult, Islam, his man-made cult, better to say. So, yeah, we know the risks and we are willing to take them, guys. But uh, it's okay. <laughs> I mean, uh, somebody has to do it, right? I'm not asking everybody to become a Christian polemicist uh, because automatically your life will be in danger. But as you know, the moment you start doing what we do, your life will be at risk. Right, and the Muslims will always manifest when you talk to them, when you debate them, when you expose their false prophet. <coughs> so uh, the live stream is okay, right, guys? The live stream is okay. Everything is going smoothly, right? The internet connection, everything. I think from my side it looks great. Uh, let me say hello to our brothers and sisters out there. God bless you, brothers and sisters. Uh, Dragon the nearest in the house. How are you, dear sister? God bless you. Uh, I think I've seen more brothers and sisters. Juliet uh, Abraham, nice to see you, dear sister. God bless you. Thank you for your prayers, all of you. Thank you, dear sister. Uh, do we have more admins at the moment? I have Phil Herrera is with here. Phil Herrera. I keep I keep saying his name wrongly. I will. I'll continue saying it. Phil Herrera, not Herrera. Rob Herrera. Yeah, sorry for that, brother. Yeah, RJ in the house, another admin. Nice to see you, brother. God bless you. Uh, everybody in the live chat, uh, all the admins. Inda, sister Inda is with us. God bless you. Long time no see. Um, not sure if there are more admins as we speak. If I see your name, I might say hello. Please forgive me, guys, if I cannot mention all of your names. But we have also our uh, regulars, new subscribers. Sola Scriptura, uh, a regular. Joshua Nunn. Nice to see you, friends. God bless you. Uh, uh, Kathleen Clark, one of our dear sisters, one of the regulars. Bolt for Speed, another regular. Nice to see you, brother, nah? or sister. Um, all of you, Hill Slide, another regular. All of you guys, I'm not. I cannot mention all of your names, but we have uh, a good crowd now. I think. How many people are watching as we speak? 123 people watching. Oh, that's amazing. We didn't even start yet. <laughs> Beautiful. Guys, uh, keep uh, letting everybody know on social media that Rob Christian is live after so many weeks now. That's awesome. 129 now. Okay, 129 people and the number is growing. That's amazing. Thank you, guys. Wow. Share the link on social media. Guys, as you see... Uh, Today's uh, today's topic, uh, uh, our topic. I'm going to review the, the, the debate that I had. Finally, a Sunni Muslim by the name of uh, Rabbi Omar, he uh, challenged me for the debate. 
because for many years now I've been going after the violated uh, anus of Muhammad by the jinn because uh, the story goes like this guys if you go to the Quran chapter 46 ayah 29 we see that uh, a number of jinn came to Muhammad they came to Muhammad and they literally jumped on his back while he was uh, reading the Quran for them and some scholars said these are thousands of thousands of jinn others said around nine jinns and even the commander is his name is Zoba so <laughs> even the jinns the jinns these demons had a commander uh, his name is Zoba <laughs> we always make fun uh, when we use that name yeah arabic speaking christians <laughs> yeah uh, who jumped on the back of Muhammad and muslims muslims unfortunately they are so embarrassed about the story they will throw everyone and everybody under the bus including the sahaba uh, anyone in the chain uh, they don't care even if it's a companion of muhammad they will throw him under the bus because how can they accept something that is embarrassing the prophet right naked jinns riding rasulullah exactly how can a muslim accept that right right muslims <laughs> how can you accept that uh yeah so uh, i know it's very embarrassing but at least uh i have to give him that he is more man than his other brothers and sisters and specifically the imams and the shuch who are avoiding this topic uh like avoiding the pest or any uh disease right they don't want to talk about this topic they don't want to debate about this topic and you should ask yourself why why is it that uh they don't want to talk about this topic. Why did they write Rasulullah? Why did Allah? And that's the question that I've been asking always. If there's something called Allah, right, in Islam, and they claim he's God, he is the creator, and he loves his prophet because remember, Muhammad is the final prophet supposedly in Islam, according to our Muslim friends. Uh, yet Allah in the Quran and also in the Hadith, he said he's going to protect Muhammad from any harm. Yet, we see if this report, if this narration, if this hadith is authentic, and we know it's authentic, and we can prove it, then we have a huge contradiction, right guys? This puts Allah's credibility and Muhammad's credibility at a test, a huge test. This shows that there is nothing called Allah. Muhammad is nothing but a liar. A demon-possessed man, and even demons came to ride him, right? Muslims can lie to us all they want, but their books speak otherwise because this authentic hadith that is literally behind the context of chapter 36, 46, ayah 29, that the demons came to see Muhammad, to meet with him. And it, the, the, during a very famous night called the night, let me type it out, the night of the jinn, right? So it's a famous night a historical night according to the Islamic books, according to the Islamic scholars, called the night of the jinn. When the jinn came, these demons, these uh, penis-shaped demons, black naked brothers <laughs> who came to jump on the back of Muhammad. And these are literally penis-shaped guys, I'm not kidding. They, these brothers, uh, if you go to the books, it says literally that they are uh, from uh, Sudan. You know, Sudan is a an African country. And we know that Muhammad was a huge racist, right? He didn't like the color black. He didn't like black people. And we know even till today in the Arab world, uh, when you're a black human being, a black person, they call you Abd or Abid, which means literally a slave, a black slave. That's how much they hate the black people. So the irony is that these black jinn who are naked, these bros, <laughs> these brothers came to ride Muhammad. That's the irony right there. They literally took revenge. <laughs> Guys, did you know, uh, according to the hadith, even Moses in Islam uh, is member. He comes from, he literally comes from Qawm al -Zut, the nation of al The same people who ride Muhammad. He's from Qawm al -Zut. So if I would be a Muslim, I would never dare to talk about Moses. He's from the line of Qawm al-Zut. That's what the hadith says. 
You want me to show you guys? Let me prove it actually. So if I would be a Muslim, I would never follow Moses. I would hate Moses in Islam. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Let me show you from Sahih al-Bukhari that even Moses would have joined these demons, these jinns, to ride on the back of Muhammad. I'm not kidding, guys. If, if Moses would have been alive in the time of these jinns in the 7th century, Moses would have jumped on the back of Muhammad as well. And here is my proof. So that Muslims can't say Rob, you're lying. Sahih <laughs> al-Bukhari. Read with me. Sahih al-Bukhari 3438. Let me give you the link. Narrated Ibn Abbas, the Prophet said, I saw Moses, Jesus, and Abraham on the night of my ascension to the heavens. Jesus was of a red complexion. So Jesus is red in Islam, guys. Yeah. Uh, he has curly hair and he has a broad chest. Moses, on the other hand, was of brown complexion. So Moses was a little bit black. Straight hair and tall stature as if he was from the people of Azot. Do you see it? Who is he? Moses. <laughs> so Moses is literally from Azot. Right? That's what the Arabic says. Right? So he was black. Moses was black. <laughs> Sahih al-Bukhari. <laughs> Sahih al-Bukhari. All right. Now, guys, that was a small introduction. <laughs> Before we start, guys, as you know, as you know, always, uh, I love to start, to actually start with a prayer so that the live stream can be blessed. Yeah, this is a fun, this is pure Islamist comedy, guys. Uh, you'll see the debate that we're going to review because we're going to review the debate, right, guys? Uh, you'll laugh a lot. It's nothing but comedy, you know? Uh, and the worst mistake that a Muslim can make is debate me about this topic. He, This Muslim, he made the worst mistake in his life. And you will see soon why, guys, when we are going to review the live stream, the, the live debate that I had on TikTok because this happened in t on TikTok a couple days ago. And it took me some time to achieve the file Right, and it's a huge foul, and um, yeah, but we managed to get the whole debate, so we're going to have fun with that. So, guys, please grab some popcorn, you are in for the treat. I'm not kidding, <laughs> but <laughs> before we actually start, let us first start with a nice prayer, guys. We need the blessing of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and I hope uh, the Muslims who are watching, please, please drop Muhammad because. Because Muhammad is a false prophet. Deal with the backlash Muslims. Either you're going to accept that Muhammad is nothing but a false prophet or deal with today's live stream because I'm going to show you that Allah did not protect as he promised. Allah did not protect Muhammad from gang rape. He got raped by demons, right? Unbelievable. What a, what a filthy guilt. Anyway. Let us pray. باسم الأب والابن والروح القدس إله واحد أمين. بشيم أبو وبرو وروح قديش وحد الله الشرير وأمين in the Aramaic, the language of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. In English, we always say in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, three persons, three أقنومة, three persons, one God. We pray. Let us pray. Thank you, Lord, for allowing us to do another live stream today on short notice with our wonderful team of admins in the blue and our beloved audience and subscribers who have always been supporting us for so many years now. Lord, please bless them. Bless this live stream. Bless everybody who is here listening and watching. Bless the internet connection. Also keep our families, our loved ones, and children safe. Protect them and bless them, Father. Lord Jesus Christ, your name above all names, I beg you and I pray to you and ask you to cleanse us, all of us, with your holy blood and fill us with your Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord, we need you, Lord Christ. Without you, we are lost. Please shine your holy light on all of us, O oh Lord Christ. Yes, Lord, including the Muslims who we actually love because they are brothers and sisters in humanity. We love, we love these Muslims, Lord. We believe that there are many Muslims out there who need saving, so we pray for their safety and salvation, who might be in need, these Muslims. 
because I know that there are many Muslims out there who are truly sincere and are seeking for the truth. So I hope they are going to watch today's live stream, O oh Lord. Please, Lord, open their eyes. Lord Jesus Christ, draw these Muslims to your feet so they might know you, the real you. Everything for your glory, O oh Son of God. You are the Father's heart. You are the love of the Spirit. Christ, fill me with your Holy Spirit. Bless my throat and loosen my tongue today during today's live stream and guide me so I can speak the truth, nothing but the truth, without any error or any shame, O Lord. And Lord, give us wisdom, courage to do whatever needs to be done in your holy name, O Jesus Christ. We pray, amen, amen. Welcome, everybody. Speaking from Cave, Hira, Hira, Hira. We are live, 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 live. Welcome everybody, God bless you. Let's do this, baby. Are you ready, guys? I hope uh, all of you are ready. Uh, I hope everything is still going smoothly. Let me check here from my side. 190 people watching. Keep inviting people, guys. Keep sharing the link on social media. I need your uh, support. I need your help, guys, because on my own, I cannot do that. I've... When I go live, guys, for your information, I always post it on uh, Patreon. Be if you go and become a patron on my Patreon account, you'll see that I will post a couple hours before I will post that I will go live. Also, Facebook. Guys, make sure if you have Facebook, if you have Facebook, to go and look for my name, Rob Christian, on Facebook. You'll find me with my logo. Subscribe because I'll also post there. I will announce it that I will go live. So... Yeah, from two ways. And also on my other account that I have on YouTube. I have a, another account. You can find all my information, guys. All my social media in the description box. Guys, please let us not be lazy. Always look further, right? And look always for the right information where you can find me when uh, you'll be notified. Because the problem is on my main account that I'm streaming from now, many people don't get notifications. So... The Bible teaches us to be as wise as snakes, right? So let us be smart. Let us adapt. Because social media, specifically YouTube, always shadow bans me. Guys, many people send me messages. Rob, we didn't get notified. Well, hello. So please be smart and look further and subscribe to all of my social media accounts so you will get notified, right? All right, guys. Let us, let us start. So this, uh, this hadith that we're going to debate about or have debate about, and I'm going to review it because I didn't have the chance yet to, to upload it or talk about it, this debate that I had a couple days ago. And uh, guys, the uh, debate that I'm going to play, so give me uh, some time, guys. The debate I'm going to show you is about this hadith that we can find uh, in the main source in Musnad Ahmed. Hadith number 3788, as you see on the screen. So if you want to take a screenshot, this is literally the book. And this is the uh, investigation done by Ahmed Muhammad Shakir, short for Ahmed Shakir, for um, Ahmed ibn Hanbal, his book. By the way, Ahmed ibn Hanbal is the founder of the uh, Hanbali Madhab, the Hanbali jurisprudence. They call it also Sunni, uh, uh, Sunni school of Ahmed ibn Hanbal, the Hanbali school of thought, right? The Madhab. So the book of Musnad Ahmad, volume four, and we're going to go to page 33 to prove that it's authentic hadith. And the Muslim who, the Muslim that debated me about here is going to throw everyone and everybody under the bus during the debate. And this is the hadith, and you see it says here, Isnado Sahih, right guys? The chain of narration is Sahih. Isnado Sahih. So, you know, it's funny. Muslims always cry for an authentic hadith a sahih hadith. But when we show them authentic hadiths, they will throw them under the bus and they will deny it if it embarrasses Rasulullah. I mean, I mean, this is embarrassing, I understand. Right? Guys, can you stay on topic? Colton Connor, I'm happy that you're here, brother. But please stay on topic. The topic, we have a topic going on. Please, please stay on topic, guys, and focus. Because I could not believe I, I was shocked that this guy wanted to really to debate me about this topic because most Sunni Muslims are too scared. They are too cowardice to debate me about it. So we have an opportunity here. 
So I'm so happy that everything was recorded and uh, my brother sent me the file so we can do something with it, right? So guys, as, as I explained, when Muhammad in the seventh century what was, was with one of his main companions, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, Muhammad told Abdullah ibn Mas'ud to stay in the circle. Muhammad said, Ya Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, Ya Abdullah, Ya Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, stay in the circle that I'm going to draw for you. So Muhammad literally made a circle on the sand and he told him, stay in the circle or else you're going to be killed. In other words, killed by demons, right? Stay at all times, stay in the circle, okay? Stay in the circle. Ya Abdullah, Ya Abdullah ibn Mas'ud. Stay, and guys, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, for the people who want to know, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud is uh, one of the main companions. Remember, this is the same guy that Muhammad said in Sahih al-Bukhari, if you want to learn the Quran, go to four people. And he started with Abdullah ibn Mas'ud. That same Abdullah ibn Mas'ud. Did you catch it? All right. That same Abdullah ibn Mas'ud. So stay inside the circle. And Abdullah ibn Mas'ud is looking. He's seeing everything. He's an eyewitness. Did you catch it? He's an eyewitness. And he's seeing how... Muhammad is getting violated, ravished by demons who jumped on his back and they were naked, right? Naked, black, almost though they were tall, thin, tall creatures, thin, and they literally were in the shape of penises. Penis-shaped, naked, black, jeans, called Qawm az Okay, that's their name. <laughs> and Moses was one of them. Imagine. Penis-shaped naked black jinns who came to ride Rasulullah. For short. And Abdullah is watching, right? He's in the circle. Stay in the circle. Keep watching. <laughs> yeah, Abdullah bin Masoud. And he was seeing everything. And this continued. The riding on Rasulullah's back continued until sunrise. It continued until sunrise. Imagine. How, how much in pain, as he himself uh, confirmed, how much in pain Muhammad was, how they literally split his moon in half. Yeah, how they split Muhammad's moon in half. So the actual moon splitting, guys, that Muslims love to brag about, happened between the butt cheeks of Muhammad. Rob? No way. Emotional damage. Yeah, guys. I, I mean, yeah, I understand the, that the Muslims will be... Emotional damage. Rob, stop pressing the button. Emotional damage. Uh, bro, I can't help myself, man. Emotional damage. Yalla, one last time. Emotional damage. <laughs> Enough with this spam, Rob. I mean, come on. We have already uh, demon-possessed Muslims. Uh, manifesting Muslims are always trolling the live stream. So go uh, go easy on us, Rob. You're killing us. Yeah, sorry, guys. Sorry. Please forgive me. Pray for my uh, shortcomings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is too much fun. I know, guys. I know. I feel you. I feel you. Do you feel me? Do you feel me? Yeah. Uh, so, guys, this is this is the, the, the debate, right? I don't know how this Mohammedan look like. But I chose a random picture from, I mean, they all look alike. You know, they all have disgusting uh, beards, right? And I think he's a Salafi, if I'm not, yeah, he's a Salafi. His name, he calls himself Rabbi Omar, and he also goes by the name of Anti Shubuhat. Anti Shubuhat, yeah. He has many fake accounts. So yeah, what can we expect? So guys, he's, during the, the last, uh, during the debate, during the debate, you understand that uh, Rabbi Omar, that's what he calls himself, he had two main arguments. Ibn Mas'ud, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud is not an eyewitness. That's what he said. It's not an eyewitness during the night of the jinn. Argument number two is, Amr al-Bakali, who is another companion, so we are talking about companions that he's going to throw under the bus. Amr al-Bakali did not hear the report from Ibn Mas'ud. So that's his main argument, basically. Abdullah ibn Mas'ud wasn't there. How can he be an eyewitness, brother? And Amr al-Bakali did not hear it. I, we know him, they are both companions, and we cannot call the Sahaba the companions, liars, and deceivers. 
But hey, we can throw them under the bus when it's embarrassing our prophet. We can do that, brother. Brother, brother, we can do that, brother. If it embarrasses the anus of our prophet, brother, we're going, we're going to throw even our own mothers under the bus, brother, Rob Christian, brother. Emotional damage. Uh, guys, this is the last stream, uh, okay? I think it's from your end, car bump. Guys, is the live stream healthy and uh, stable? Is everything going good? Oh, extreme buffering? Oh, it's, I think, all good. Okay, so guys, the people are suffering. You need to refresh. It's not me. It's the internet. It's YouTube. I have, I have, it's on their end. You see, guys? So, because here it says it's all okay from my side. It says here, when I, in my, App side, let's say, or my YouTube where I'm streaming from, it says excellent connection. So it's you guys, okay? Uh, it's you. Just refresh. Dragon and ears. Can somebody tell Dragon and ears that it's from her side? She's giving me a two. I don't know what. <laughs> Sister, it's you. I don't know. I don't know. It's not from my side. Sorry. Anyway. What can we do, guys? It's the internet. And we know uh, Allah, I mean Satan, doesn't like us to expose his uh, ravished prophet, his violated uh, prophet. And, uh, guys, during the debate, I have to unfortunately teach this Mohammedan black stone kisser that Muhammad had an interaction with the jinn on many different nights. So, guys, the night of the jinn, didn't happen only one time. The night of the jinn happened on multiple occasions. So there were multiple nights of the jinn. Because Muhammad was demon-possessed, again, because Muhammad was demon-possessed, he was always getting visitors from the jinn. He was always being visited by demons who kept riding him. On some nights, Abdullah bin Mas'ud wasn't with him. Other nights, he was with him. So notice, guys, notice, take a screenshot. Ibn Mas'ud was an eyewitness and what was with Rasulullah on at least one of these many nights, plural, nights of the jinn, right? Because some reports say, yes, some reports do say that Abdullah ibn Mas'ud wasn't with Muhammad during the night of the jinn. But other reports tell us that he was with Abdullah ibn Mas'ud and I'm going to prove it. All right? We're going to prove it. So, this is uh, what I can show you. So, let us actually, guys, start uh, the recording. Let us actually start the recording that I achieved of this debate. And let's see if, you, if Rob Christian lost the debate. You can be the judge of that. Let's see who won the debate. And actually, guys, I really don't care about winning debates. I don't, I don't care about winning. I care about that people are, uh, will see and notice that Muslims are a bunch of liars, a bunch of deceivers. They will deceive themselves and they will deceive everyone and everybody and throw everybody under the bus, right? Just to protect their false prophet for the cause of their false prophet, in the cause of their false prophet. So let us play the recording, guys. So this is uh, the, the video that I received. Let us... Let us start it, guys. Are you ready, everybody? If, is everybody ready, guys? Give me a one. I hope the stream is okay. Let us play the recording. And, guys, so now and then I will stop the debate when it's needed to give you some explanation and show you how he's lying, okay? So, so now and then, because it's a review of the debate, a live review, we are live, yes, but I will stop the debate so I can add some information to, to explain to you how Muslims are nothing but liars. So here is... Here is the file, so let, let me play it. Let me play it. In the hadith in front of me, which is a sahih hadith, it literally says that a bunch of demons came to hear the Quran, supposedly, because Muhammad was reading Quran for the demons, the, who they call jinns. Muhammad is reading, and he's asking the eyewitness, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, to stay in the circle that he drew for him. Stay in the circle, or, or else you'll be unalived. That's what Muhammad said to the, one of the main companions, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud. Stay inside a circle, this magic circle of your, of, that, I wrote, that I just painted for you. 
So Abdullah ibn Mas'ud is looking from a small distance and he's seeing what is going on. Okay, so he's an eyewitness and he's the one who is reporting it. Muhammad is being approached by demons and these demons starts to jump on his back. Okay, and they start to ride him. It says literally, Rakabu, uh, uh, right? And Muhammad is in pain. Waja'an minma rakabu. Taqilan waja'an. He is heavy and he's in pain. Now the question is, according to the source, these creatures are Haninan. We know the meaning of Haninan. It means bunch of male penises. So these creatures are literally penis shaped creatures. They literally look like penises. If you are a man and you drop your pants, you'll see how your banana looks like. So these, <laughs> these demons guys literally are penis shaped. Now question, what are penis shaped jeans? What, where, what are they going to do with a man who has a hole in his back? Are they going to give him kisses? Are they going to give him hugs? If, or are they going to enter him from behind? This is why Muhammad said, I am in pain and I feel heavy because the, according to the hadith, they kept riding him until sunrise. And it's a sahih hadith. Do you want me to prove it, guys, in the chat? Okay, Rob. Uh, Rob, so you made your claim, brother. God bless you, Khani. Uh, okay. Tell him, tell him to come up right now, Nick. Okay. Right, Let him up. Let him up for the last time. If he wants, to, if he wants Rob to prove it to him, then Rob to prove it to him. Okay, he can show him, and this is how it works. Once you're done, Omar, allow him to speak, and this is how it goes. Okay, stop being, okay, stop being coward, bro. Like, okay, just have your time. Once you're done, and he will allow him to speak as well. This is how it goes. Yeah. Once again, I tested his knowledge on Imam Hadith, and he said that the authenticity of a chain. Of narration makes the hadith authentic i mean honestly he doesn't know what he's talking about <laughs> so what he yeah, does right. guys is he brings a narration that says Asnaduhu sahih. if i ask rob another question because he failed with this one miserably uh let me ask him do you know what an alla is bro bro he brought up an argument why can't you just just refute his argument are you serious right now you're talking about something else it's not even related so to what he doesn't know what he actually I mean, brought up the what are you talking the about nabuwa says that Habibi, what are you talking about yeah the latin nabuwa says that he, he the, that this event was not witnessed by ibn masoud number one number two he doesn't uh, know what is. That. are you are we here to allow me to refute that Since yeah you, you can try to. this illa, absence absence of hidden defect yeah, you can try to refute that. I can try. Uh, okay, so you, okay, I'm willing to screen. accept the full debate. Yeah, give him big screen. Let me yeah ask you can try question. to refute counter, that. Counter, counter question. Are you here with me to accept the full debate or not? Because everything you say, I will use it against you and destroy you and bury you like your prophet got buried by the demons. Are you yeah, here? You see, if you're just going to disrespect, then, then there's going to be no discussion. Bro, bro, bro. Like, like your God got put on the stick every, and, and shush kebab by, by his own creation. Right? Your guy got put on the stick and got shish kebab. Okay. You see, guys, uh, because he he is too embarrassed about his prophet, he's manifesting and he's insulting our Lord and Savior. Yet, Muslims say, we love Jesus more than you, Christians. Christians, uh, Christians, brother, we love Jesus more than you. This is why you insult him and call him shish kebab. He got shish kebab on the cross. Yeah, uh, guys, uh, uh, this, they, these are the Muslims who are mocking supposedly their own prophet, Isa, who they call Jesus. Yeah, you're right. Where's the love for Christ, you liars and deceivers? You see, guys? But, hey, let us continue. What can you expect from these uh, Satan worshippers and who follow a raped, gank-raped prophet? Okay, you I want to You see this coward? You see this coward? Okay. okay, go ahead. Go ahead, Rob. Go ahead and uh, shoot someone. Eh? Try and get a reaction out of me. But anyway. the, the chain being authentic, this is just from who? Who grades this authentic? Multiple scholars. Do you want me to show you Ibn Kathir? Do you want me to show you uh, Ahmad Ibn Shakir? Uh, Ibn Kathir? Shakir, Ibn Kathir you? narrates it? Hold, hold on. Um, yes. Can you make my screen bigger real quick? Yes, Ibn Kathir narrates it. No, no, no. Oh, no. no. He authenticates it. Can you make my screen bigger? Yes, yes. Host? Let yeah. I finish, then, 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 uh, yeah, host. Uh, can you make my screen bigger? Hear? Guys, this guy doesn't know who he's talking to. Do you have yeah, any can idea? you make my screen bigger, host? Do you have any idea who you're talking to? I yeah, can you make my screen bigger? He said Ibn Kathir. Guys, he doesn't know Rob Kushinian. Yeah, make my screen bigger real quick. Okay. 
So he said, Ibn Kathir said that this is authentic, right? Okay, so he, he brings it from a book. He brings it from a book. Uh, and he actually put the, the wrong volume, funny enough, and, and this specific book on his uh, YouTube, which is very embarrassing. It's a volume uh, up. It was like in the 20s. But uh, yeah, here's Ibn Kathir, everybody. And this is why I'm not, this is why after this, I simply deny talking to this <laughs> disgusting clown. No, 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 no. Because here no, we no, have... Guys, guys, you see, he's already starting to run, right? He doesn't want to debate, to have a full debate. He wants to make a, a quick comment, and he thinks he can run away. That's what they do, guys, because they know, as lo because you know, guys, if you have been watching my live streams and videos and debates for many years now, I love to stretch things. I want them to suffer during the debate like Muhammad suffered at the hands of the demons. Specifically, these kind of Abduls who are manifesting demon-ridden Muslims like their prophet, and I like them to suffer. I'm here to either spank or get spanked. That's my style of uh, debating. You don't like it? I think you're on the wrong live stream. So I kept stretching like always. I always stretch debates and I start slow and I build it up and then watch guys what I'm going to do to him. He word, he made the worst more, worst decision ever, the worst mistake ever in challenging me about this very topic. Muhammad being ridden by demons, by jinns. They call them jinns, right? The worst mistake ever. That's what he made. So he thought that he would end the debate within uh, five minutes, but little did he know. <laughs> so I've seen it, I've seen it. He's gonna fabricate. This is Ibn Kathir right, right here. I love it. This is Ibn Kathir right now. This is not the that I'm going to show from Ibn Kathir, but go ahead. What does he say? And the hadith, there is what? What does this mean, Rob? Continue. I, I'm not going to interrupt you. Continue. What does this I'm mean? I'm not going to interrupt you. Make your claim. Make your claim. Blah, blah, blah. No, translate for everyone. La, la, la. Make saying? your claim. Once you're done, he will debunk your argument. Go what ahead. does it mean? Come on. Tell Make me. your claim. Once you're done, he will debunk your argument. What this is how the mean? debate works. You said the debate, Kithir, this is how it works. What does this mean? Uh, finish, you finish your statement, then I will take the big screen and bury you. No, because, you know, people are not going to trust me what I'm saying, you know, I, I, I can't translate it. It's okay, so you could translate it by I, I need, I need one of you guys to translate it. What does this mean? Habibi, finish what you're doing. No, no, you I want him to translate it. it. You're not going to trust me because yeah, I'm it's Muslim. Okay. So I, I do taqiyya, okay. right? So so just translate this for me. Go ahead. Finish off what you're doing. Okay. Translate it for me. Come we on, it's not hard. Why are you guys so shy shadida. now? Okay. Just, what does that what mean? It means. Go ahead and translate it. So what does it mean? Uh, okay. I, don't, I don't speak. I don't speak Arabic. I can't translate. No, no, no. It. You do. You do. You do exactly how to speak. Arabic. So, what does this mean, Rob? Finish up, and he will debunk your argument. Stop. Stop being what does it mean? Running. Stop running, Omar. No, I don't you get said it Ibn Kathir time. authenticated it. What does it mean, bro? Finish your argument. Damn it! You can't, I'm just you asking a simple question. I want you him to translate to for the people over here what this means. Okay, then finish it. Translate it. Okay, it's okay. Yeah, so, if you're wrong, yeah, so if you're wrong, we'll tell you that that you're wrong. Okay, he will debunk you afterwards. What Shadow, are you, okay. are, you, are you recording Shadow? Yes, I am. You just I am. What this I means? am. Okay, I am. Don't worry, Rob. I am. I am. You said Ibn oh, he's recording and he's going to edit the hell out of this. I got, I got don't it. Worry. You said that Ibn Kathir himself. Lying, this. deceptive Muslim out there on TikTok. So, okay. guys, so Ibn Kathir authenticated. All of you recording in the chat. All of you recording. Why are you so scared? Because you are a coward and you are a liar. People are coming through you. So I'm a liar. What does this mean? Because I don't want to interrupt you. <laughs> oh, man, man. If this that's is what debate, is done. then you have no idea what debating yeah. means. By that's the way, funny, this is not even a debate, guys. This is not a yeah. debate. This Since he won't translate it, it's okay. Right, go ahead. Go ahead. So I'm waiting for him to finish, so he won't say Rob interrupted me. Okay? I'm waiting for him to finish. Okay, go ahead. No, go I want to just translate it. Just go ahead and translate it. Okay, stop. Stop talking, Omar. That's it. You're done. You're done. I don't allow him to speak right now. No. Put yourself on mute. Don't interrupt, huh? Because I didn't interrupt you. Don't interrupt show your two colors again yeah now try guys, not to straw man me i'm see, actually recording omar see. just to let you know if you interrupt him you're gonna lose the debate so just to let you know for now go ahead rob yeah i i really don't uh, care if you're recording or not uh, uh now you don't care now you don't care huh you always record and you rip recordings apart no, because editing the hell out of them and no because with all due respect you guys are some lightweight you see, Christians. guys you keep interrupting you see you see you see muslims how your Boyfriends that you call heroes, how
how they keep interrupting because are they have nothing. crying or just make your You're point? literally crying. You are the one who's crying who is interrupting. You're shouting. I'm Where is my camera guy? Allah, 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 Omar, stop, bro. Stop. Allah, to feel, bro. Are you serious? Is this how you're going to do it or are you going to uh, run? This is how he's going to debate you, by the way, because he has no, uh, he has no decorum. He doesn't know what actual debating means because he never debated anybody. So they're still crying. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, where's my camera host? Why is the setting all messed yeah. up? Tap on I can't my camera. Rob, tap on your icon. Okay, yeah. now it's working. There you go. What's going on? Anyway, thank you, host. Uh, look, guys, I have a book which he doesn't have called Jam al Masanid wa Sunan by Ibn Kathir. Can you open this that? This is a PDF? different book. Just a second. Alarm to finish. Alarm to finish, bro. Guys, do you see how he's interrupting? Do you see how he's interrupting? He's not even allowing me to finish a sentence. And that happened during the whole debate. But anyway, because he was interrupting, I will interrupt him also. I, I said to myself before the uh, debate, I'm going to not talk when he talks. But this guy doesn't deserve uh, our uh, respect. He doesn't deserve it because he's a filthy son of Satan. He is a, a real jihadi. And these are the type of Muslims who will come to your houses when they have the upper hand, specifically, for example, here in the West, they will come to your house, they will analyze you and take, they will take your women as sex slaves. These are the filthy terrorist Mohammedans, these black stone kissers. So I don't have respect for this guy. So because he's, he keeps interrupting, I will interrupt him uh, eventually as well. But this is, this is what the, how, these people have no decorum. They have no uh, dignity. And he keeps interrupting. I didn't even start. Right? Refuting him. I didn't even start yet. Aywa, bravo. Ta'alam ya pagan. Ibn Kathir's Jam al Masanid was Sunan by Ibn Kathir, a jiz 26. Jam al Masanid was Sunan. Take a screenshot, buddy. You have never heard of this book before. Oh, are you sure? Page 7526. He's interrupting you. You coward. You're running like a coward, bro. Allow him to finish. A jizz, a sad I never heard of it. Okay. You bozo. What do you mean I never heard of it, man? Ish, Come on. Ish. Do you see how he's interrupting again? Unbelievable. Jam al Masanid was Sunan, Libin Kathir, volume 26. All right. And you have a different uh, publishing company. I don't care about your publishing company. No, company. I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> don't lie. <laughs> don't lie. 7,526. Arabic seven five two six okay, Musnad Abdullah bin Masoud anhu. You see it, okay? We go down same story. Fajalu yarkabuna Rasulullah. They start to penetrate Muhammad by jumping on him and riding him, okay? And Muh and these are look Hanina, the penis shaped, the Karaninan penis shaped, jinns that are azut black people, okay? Black boy boyfriends of Muhammad. Look, and here in the bottom, in the footnote, do you see the separating line always? You have the footnote. And this is Ahmed Shakir, Al-Imam Ahmed, grad, uh, grading it. And look what it says here. Wa isnadahu sahih. This is the book of Ibn Kathir, buddy. Wa isnadahu sahih. Now, I'm not done. Let us go to Ibn Kathir's tafsir. This is the different book. This is the tafsir book of Ibn Kathir. All right? Look, guys, if we go to the actual book, and I'm going to provide the translation as well for everybody. So, guys, you are noticing I showed one book of Ibn Kathir, and I'm now going to go to the tafsir of Ibn Kathir to prove my case. So, two different books of Ibn Kathir. Jam al Masanid was Sunan by Ibn Kathir, and also the tafsir of Ibn Kathir. So, two different books from uh, Ibn Kathir himself. If we go to the tafsir, so secondary source, the tafsir of Ibn Kathir. Look. Ibn Kathir's tafsir. Okay. Tafsir al-Quran al-Azim by Ibn Kathir. We open this tafsir. Go to page 36. 36. Okay. Surat al-Hqaf. Al-Ayah raqam 29 ila 32. So uh, 29. Surat al-Hqaf. 29 to, uh, 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 to 32, okay? All right. Look what it says. Someone is asked here, uh, Amr bin uh, Khaylan al-Thaqafi. 
إِنَّهُ قَالَ He said to Ibn Mas'ud, so he's talking to Ibn Mas'ud, you have, uh, 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 you have been telling everybody, you have said that you were, كُنْتَ مَعْ You were with Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam during the night of the jinn, Laylat Wafd al-Jinn, so during the night of the jinn, قَالَ So who is talking now? Ibn Mas'ud, he said, Ajal, this is an Ibn Kathir. I was there. He was the eyewitness. Now, guys, I want to add something on that. So we showed from two different books. Jam al-Masanid was Sunan li Ibn Kathir. That's book number one. That the hadith is sahih, which means authentic. P please focus, brothers and sisters in the chat. So authentic, sahih means authentic, fully accepted hadith. This is the highest grading in Islam for a hadith. Sahih, authentic. Okay. So we showed two different books. And I want to add something on the second book of Ibn Kathir, which is the Tafsir of Ibn Kathir, right? Tafsir Ibn Kathir. So let me switch screens for a sec here. This is the book that I'm showing from now. Tafsir Al-Quran Al-Azim, the very famous Tafsir for the Quran, the explanation or the exegesis for the Quran by Ibn Kathir, the famous renowned scholar. In this book, right? In this book, and you can find this, of course, on many uh, websites like QuranX.com. But uh, don't never ever trans, uh, trust a translation done by Muslims because they will lie about the Arabic. They will even hide. They will not translate very uh, embarrassing stuff that you can find in Ibn Kathir. So be cautious. Uh, uh, and here is the ayah from Surah Al-Haqqaf. All right, let me make it bigger. On page 36... Page 36 here, look, 3636. Three, Surah Al Haqqaf, uh, Al Ayat, uh, uh, the, the Ayahs numbers 29 to, to 32. Okay, here is the part that I'm showing on my, uh, on my phone, as you see. So this is uh, An Abdullah from uh, An Abdullah bin Amr bin Khaylan al Thaqafi. In now Qala li Ibn, li Ibn Mas'ud. So he said to Ibn Mas'ud, uh, you said that you were with Rasulullah. Ya Ibn Mas'ud. Oh Ibn Mas'ud, you said that you were with Rasulullah during the night of the jinn, with the jinn, Laylat with the jinn. Were you there? Were you there? So uh, he, he wants a confirmation if Ibn Mas'ud was with Rasulullah, with Muhammad during the night of the jinn. Qala ajal. So Ibn Mas'ud answers the question and he says, yes. I was there. And if we go to the bottom, always we have the, the dividing line and underneath we have the footnote. And it literally says that everything, all the people in the chain, everything is trustworthy. Thuqat. A thuqat. Rijalo thuqat. Everything is fully accepted. Right? So Muslims can't deny it. And yet, yet this guy wants to throw Ibn Mas'ud under the bus. And he wants to throw everybody under the bus who is embarrassing Muhammad. So the translation for what we showed you, Amr, Amr ibn Khaylan al thaqafi said, I came to Abdullah ibn Mas'ud and asked him, you reported that you were with the messenger of Allah at the night of the jinn. Ibn Mas'ud said, Ajal, yes. And, and he wants to say to us that these people in the chain are not trustworthy. Yet here in front of us, literally in the footnote, that everybody in the chain is thuqat. Fully trustworthy. Did you catch it? Did you catch it? So that's what it says. And in multiple books, we see the same. Look, guys, I want to teach this Muhammadan again. I want to teach this Muhammadan that there were many nights. There were some nights, guys, that Abdullah ibn Mas'ud wasn't with Muhammad. But there were nights that he was with him. So these Muhammadans don't know anything about their prophet. They don't know about these multiple nights where Abdullah bin Mas'ud was being an eyewitness. Did you catch it? So he just confirmed it. Sometimes you will see, sometimes you will see that he denies that he was with Rasulullah. That's true. Why? Because there are multiple nights. Some nights Abdullah bin Mas'ud was with Muhammad. He accompanied him. He was with him. He was being an eyewitness. He was watching. Other nights Muhammad was alone. So the demons came to see Muhammad sometimes when he was alone. And sometimes when Abdullah bin Mas'ud was with him, when he took him with him. Did you catch it? That this Abdul doesn't know that. So I have to teach him that. Right? Let us go back to the debate, guys. Let me go back and continue 
the recording. Translation for everybody who doesn't know Arabic, translation. During the night of the jinn, as we mentioned, Tafsir ibn Kathir, 4629, Amr ibn al-Khaylan al-Thaqafi said, I came to Abdullah ibn Mas'ud and asked him, you reported, Ya Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, you the eyewitness, you reported that you were with the messenger of Allah, the night of the jinn, question mark. Ibn Mas'ud said, Ajal, yes. This is in the same Ibn Kathir tafsir that he was shown earlier. Now guys, this idiot, this jahil, this ignoramus who doesn't know his religion, he doesn't know that there were multiple nights. Some nights Muhammad went alone. Some other nights, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, he took Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, one of the main Sahaba, this eyewitness, with him. So the demons approached Muhammad on many nights. But during that night, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud was there. So there were multiple nights which this idiot with this, with this jahil doesn't know about, which most Muslims don't know about. Laylat al-Jinn was not just one time, it was many times. And Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, during one of these nights, he was with him and he was an eyewitness. And I can prove it from different sources as well. So here in Ibn Kathir's tafsir, Abdullah bin Mas'ud says, yes, I was there. Ajal, I was there. Guys, so when it's his turn, you will see that he will continue denying the fact that there were multiple nights. And I can show from many books, guys. I have so many books that confirm that. And guys, he is going to show, he's going to show from uh, next, you will see that he's going to go to, for example, Tafsir al-Qurtubi, volume 19. Tafsir al-Qurtubi, volume 19. And he's going to show the following page. Page 224. Let me make it bigger. Same surah. So this is Quran, guys. The context is the Quran. Surah al-Ahqaf, uh, uh, ayah 29. Again, the whole incident is uh, mentioned in the Quran. Right? Chapter 46, ayah 29. 46, ayah 29. Oh, let me switch screens for a sec here. Sorry for that. So the whole incident is about the Quranic ayah, explanation of it. And we have authentic hadith that backs it up. Some reports here that he is going to mention say, uh, 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 when Abdullah bin Mas'ud, when he's being asked, did you, and here's the question mark, right? Did you, uh, uh, were you there? Did you witness what happened when, you, uh, when Muhammad was in the, during the night of the jinn, when he was approached by the jinn? He said, no, la, qala la. So he confirms that he didn't see it. And again, in another report, again saying la, meaning no. La in Arabic, guys, means no. So, uh, again, Abdullah bin Mas'ud, Abdullah bin Mas'ud is talking about different nights. Some nights he wasn't there. Other nights he was an eyewitness. Did you catch it? So there were multiple nights. And we counted them. There were around six different nights. Six different nights that demons came to approach Muhammad. At least one time, we know that Abdullah bin Mas'ud was an eyewitness. And, and I can prove it. Because what this donkey did, guys, he went straight to page 224. But little did he know that in the page earlier, a page earlier, 223, same book, same ayah, Surah Al-Ahqaf, Al-Ayah Raqam Tsarshin, Surah Al-Ahqaf, 46, 29, and a page earlier, 223, he went straight to 224, the idiot, and you'll see it soon, because a page earlier, he is being asked, were you there? Were you there? Were you there, brother? Were you there? Look, here's the page. And it was narrated from Abi Uthman al-Nahdi that Ibn Mas'ud saw a Zut. He asked, who are they? He said, these are a Zut. Uh-oh. How did he know that they are the Zut if he didn't see them? If he never was with Rasulullah? He said, I haven't seen anyone in their likeness except the jinn in the night of the jinn. So Ibn Mas'ud confirms that he did see them. I haven't seen. Look what he said. Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, the eyewitness. I haven't seen anyone in their likeness, meaning the jinns, the Qom zut except the jinn in the night of the jinn. Let me go back. Look. W look what it says. Ma ra'aytu shabahum illa a jinn 
ليلة الجن I didn't see in their likeness like قوم الزوت except during the night of the jinn so again Ibn Mas'ud confirming from the same book that he will present that, that he was there he was there and he recognized them I haven't seen anyone in their likeness except the jinn in the night of the jinn let us go back to the recording and watch guys how he's going to embarrass himself again you said he was not an eyewitness you liar you okay. have no idea what you're talking about finished finish it okay can you make my screen bigger host good, good luck so first of all funny enough he said um you know i don't have this book it's the wrong publisher which by the way i challenge i will become a christian right now if rob can open volume 26 like he had on and he gets this page because he actually got the wrong one I, it took me a long time to find it funny enough same one nice try you said i didn't have this book or i never heard of this book i already have it it's not oh, what does it say? It's not don't embarrass me uh, look come on yeah you're, i know don't embarrass, embarrass me, me. I will not please embarrass stop you, please stop guys you said don't embarrass me uh, what i what do you think i will do to you i will not only embarrass you i will put you in your place like the demons put muhammad in his place and they ride him so I will ride you during the debate like the demons were riding your prophet. You think I'm going to go easy on you? <laughs> like earlier, when I clowned you and I told you Isnad al Sahih doesn't mean that the hadith is necessarily Sahih. Why? Because I had to educate your clown ass, your clown ass on hadith science by Ibn no, Kathir. No, I, 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 says, I, I, don't interrupt me. Hello, don't right. interrupt me. Sahat al Isnad la yazma minha sahat al hadith. What does this mean? The authenticity of the Sana does not mean the hadith itself is authentic. Bozo. Now, Bozo? let's actually go to. <laughs> Which is a different Bozo right? book, by the way. This is a different book that he's oh. showing. Oh, yeah. really? Really? This is this is for Hadith science. How Guys, he's going to another book. You're noticing, if you know a little bit Arabic, you're noticing that he went to another book to try to uh, show us that, yeah, there are, uh, there are scholars who are explaining that even if it's a Sahih Hadith, if there are problems in the chain, if there are, there's a problem in the text, then you even have to uh, reject a Sahih chain of narration. But that's not the case here. All these people in the chain are trustworthy, Sahaba and Tabi'in, etc. So it, this explanation by going to another book, talking about the Hadith science or the science of Hadith has nothing to do with this because these people are Sahaba. Amr al-Bakali is a companion. Ibn Mas'ud is a companion. Yet you have no idea what you're talking about. This guy doesn't even know that there were multiple nights called the Nights of the Jinn. Why? Because some nights Muhammad was alone, other nights Abdullah bin Mas'ud was there as we proved earlier. How we, how yeah, this is a hadith. different book. This Don't is how we accept hadith. about different... You see guys... This is how we, look, look how he's interrupting me. Look how he's interrupting me. He's shaking. He's shaking. He's not showing Ibn Kathir, by the way. I'm shaking. Who is this? <laughs> oh my God. This is the different... This is a different book, right? This is a different book. Who, At who's least this? don't lie. This is who's this? Book, right? this, is, this is a hadith science book. Who's this? Yeah, so this is a different book. Thank you. Ibn Kathir, so wait, thank you very much. Is what? Thank Sahih. you very much, because this is how we take hadith science. This is a condition. Right? Uh, excuse me, host. Uh, I think I was very charitable. I, I did not interrupt him. So now I'm going to continue. Yes, you kept interrupting me. This is what I'm doing to you as well. You interrupt, I will interrupt. Who are you? If you're going to interrupt, I will interrupt as well. No problem. Deal with it. You. Now, he said Ibn Kathir authenticated it. Asnad al-Sahih doesn't make the hadith necessarily Sahih. Ibn Kathir actually refuted it. And he said, this is why earlier he wouldn't translate what this means, because there's a lot of strangeness, Ibn Kathir said, which means that it's weak. Because simply saying that the Asnad is Sahih doesn't mean that the hadith is necessarily Sahih. And why? It's because in our hadith science... Book, Guys, did you hear it? Even if it's Sahih, it's not Sahih. ...which I can bring you plenty. When we take hadith... Um, the authenticity of the chain does not make the hadith sahih necessarily. Now let's go. He said that it was different events. Look, it says, the jinn, um, look, ثُمَّ أَتَاهُ دَعِي الْجَنْ مَرَةً أَخْرَى A different time. This is talking about them, come, uh, look, to, um, uh, to, another time, to, right? to another speak man, to him. Right? To speak <laughs> Did to you him. catch how he busted now, himself? Funny enough, he just busted guy. himself. Guys, he just busted himself on a different night. Maratun Ukhra on a different night, Abdullah bin Mas'ud was there. He just busted himself. <laughs> Look, he, he uh, memorized both of the stories. Right? Both of the now stories. Did you catch it? Guys, did you catch it? There are two stories 
one story, Abdullah bin Mas'ud wasn't an eyewitness. On the other story, on the other story, in the other story, Abdullah bin Mas'ud was an eyewitness. One story, he is not an eyewitness. The other story, the other night, he was an eyewitness. Do you see how he just busted himself? <laughs> he shot himself in the feet. I just won the debate. I, Rob Christian, just won the debate because he just proved to everybody that there were multiple nights. One night's the story that Abdullah bin Mas'ud telling he wasn't there with Muhammad. Other nights, Abdullah bin Mas'ud was there as an eyewitness. The, the debate is basically uh, done, guys. We are victorious for the glory of Christ. He just proved it. <laughs> anyway, let us continue. This is too much. I mean, I mean, this this happens, guys, when these uh, imams and shiuch send us puppies to be slaughtered by us Christians during debates. He just literally shot himself in the foot. And actually, he just helped me winning the debate. He didn't witness this night with Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Let's continue. <laughs> did he look? Look, did he did uh, did he did uh, Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam? Uh, did any of you witness this uh, night with him? Hmm. What did they say? And then in Sahih Muslim, look in Sahih Muslim, it says it's in. Uh, forgot the number, but I can get the number. But but basically, it says look, look, no, but we were with him. Look, we were with. We're like we were with Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. That uh, late. Uh, that late. So. Uh, <laughs> they, they, they were with him, but not in this night. I was with him. Yeah, not in this night. Yeah, not in this night. Yeah, guys, yeah, from his book, just finish showed. Yeah, yeah, from yeah. What he just translate, showed, translate this. Abdullah translate this. Admits that he was with Muhammad. Fakadnahu, yeah, fakadnahu. What does this mean? We met. We met with him. Look, we met with him. We met with him. It's not saying that we were with him. We met back with him. I was with him. Yeah, yeah. Well, look, look. We that met with him. Lele. We met Lele. with him. Lele. Now let's continue. Now let's continue. Watch. And there's other Lele. there's other narrations. Lele. Look, Lele. Ibn Mas'ud did not witness the event in the night of the jinn. Look, another one. He was with him. I did not. Look, Mashahatu Laylat al Jinn. Another no, one. No, no, no. Let's go, continue. Go, go, I didn't go, interrupt go, go, you. Go, 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 Excuse me, I didn't interrupt go, 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 you. Let's continue. Look. Now look. Look. Guys, guys. He literally is now showing the page I showed you earlier. Let us go back. Let me change the screen again. Guys, if you have issues with uh if you have issues with the stream, if it's buffering, it's from your end. Okay. So guys, what he's doing is he's showing this page first, right? Have you even noticed? He's showing page 224, Dafsir al-Qurtubi for Surah al ahqaf 46. 29 Quran 4629 and he's showing page 224 yes like I said some nights Abdullah bin Mas'ud said he wasn't there la means I wasn't there qala la faqala la he said I wasn't there but one page earlier shows that he was there look one page earlier 22 two, look 223 two, page 223 two, what he's showing was 224 okay again saying that he was there because he is explaining, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud explaining, that he did not see uh, Qawm al except he saw them in the shape, in the shape of a jinn during the night of the jinn. So guys, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, right, he said, that he saw Azut, he saw Azut, he asked, who are they? So when, the, when Abi Uthman and Nahdi, when he asked him, who are these Azut? He asked, who are they? Abdullah ibn Mas'ud said, look, ibn Mas'ud said, these are Azut. How can he know that they are the Zut if he didn't see them? How can he know that they are uh, uh, the jinns that uh, were riding Rasulullah? Well, he's explaining why. He said, I haven't seen anyone in their likeness, in the likeness of Azut. These are the uh, uh, demon uh, uh, demons, guys, who came to ride Rasulullah. I haven't seen anyone in their likeness except the jinn in the night of the jinn. So, guys, he's saying, I was there. So, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud saying, in the same book that he's showing, I was there. So, he was an eyewitness. Did you catch it? I was there. It's in front of you. And here's the page again. Qala. ما رأيت شبههم إلا الجن هو الزط ليلة الجن 
illa jinn laylat jinn so he saw them ra'aytu uh -huh. do you see how he busted himself guys this is how the cookie crumbles this is how you win debates guys against muslims it's not that hard guys it's really not that hard all right it's really not that hard to destroy these liars and deceivers these jahil muslims who don't know their religion anything about their religion look he did not witness this he did not witness this and look what it says and look what it says let me speak let me finish now host be, be fair now look guys it says that there's other narrations about ibn mas'ud right now it tells us to go to ibn kathir right it tells us to go to ibn kathir and al qurtubi right we're going to go to ibn kathir over here there's a lot of strangeness number one now we're going to go to qurtubi now watch the embarrassment of this guy it says ibn mas'ud did not witness this this event with the prophet another one and look what and look Look, and another one. Did you, did any of you witness it with the, with the Prophet? He says, no. And قال, look, قال قدني, it's not sahih. Boom, for you. Now watch this, guys. Funny. It's uh -huh. hilarious. This guy actually thinks that he knows what he's talking about. We're going to go to Tafsir al-Qurtubi now and see. Look, Dar Qutni and Tafsir al-Qurtubi. Bozo. Ibn Mas'ud did not witness it with the Prophet. Why are you not reading the first page? I did not witness it. Another one. He said no. Another one. He said no. Where is Al-Qurtubi? Where does it say Al-Qurtubi? Al-Qurtubi. I'm happy that he is very excited. Guys, I'm very happy that he's excited. But he's not showing the page before it. Right? What an idiot. Look, did look, Ibn Mas'ud, did any of you witness the night with the Prophet? No. Did anyone witness? I, no. I, 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 Look, yeah, 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 another yeah, one. Yeah, another one? Very, no. Yeah, and what did he say? And what did he say? This is in Surah Al-Dar Qutni, at the Hadith al Salif. Look, page 243. Boom for you. Now, I dare you to respond to these. I dare you to respond to these. And I nice try. You, nice try, by the way. Okay, he's done. Nice I dare you, Rob. I dare you. You idiot. You have no idea who you're talking to. Try. Wait, hold on. Before I finish. Nice try trying to misquote this over here, stopping me over here. It doesn't, you made your claim. it doesn't say that. It doesn't say okay, that. It says okay. that they met with him. They met with him in a, in a, in okay. a, in a different... You made your claim. After, uh, after, uh, now after the fact. Give now. You see, guys, how excited he is? <laughs> Unbelievable. I, I mean, I mean, this guy's really thinking. He's thinking that he's winning the debate. The big screen. Yeah, yeah, he can get the big screen. Now, number one, I want him to, I want him to respond. Guys, to he literally to embarrassed himself. Look, guys. Yeah, you translate it one by mute, one. Mute, I mute, dare mute. You. mute. This is Musnad Ahmed from Shaiba Ar Nau that you Muslims love to use. Look, Musnad Ahmed, Volume Six, Shaiba Ar Nau, page three hundred thirty-seven. Okay, Volume Six. Look, guys. Look what it says here. So it, 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 it may be that the first time, the first time. Guys, are you catching it? The first time Abdullah bin Mas'ud wasn't there, right? The first time, the first night, one of these nights, Abdullah bin Mas'ud wasn't an eyewitness. But the second night, it's possible that the second night Abdullah bin Mas'ud was there. Time that Abdullah bin Mas'ud wasn't with him. Look, Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anhu. But in another uh, uh, night, on another night, uh, uh, on another night, as mentioned in another... Where, uh, where does it say another night? Where does it say another night? Look, here, here, wait. Let me show you where it says that. Abdul, yeah, Abdul Ibn Abdul. Let me show you where it says that. Here, look, look, looky, looky, look. Look, here is Ahmed, Musnad Ahmed. Musnad Ahmed by Ahmed ibn Hanbal and uh, this is investigated by Shaib al Arnaud, volume 6 look page 337 where does it say that? here 337 page 337 337 look it says وَقَدْ يَحْتَمَلْ أَنْ يَكُونْ أَوَّلْ مَرَّ خَرَجْ that he, he went that he didn't, uh, uh, he wasn't there with Muhammad, right? The first time, ma Rasulullah, ma'hu Rasulullah. So he wasn't with Rasulullah ibn Masud radhiyallahu anhu, wa uh, and not uh, and nobody else was with Muhammad the first time. Nobody was with Muhammad when he, the first time the demons came to interact with Muhammad with the Prophet of Islam, right? ثُمَّ بَعْدَ ذلك, But look at in the yellow guys ثُمَّ بَعْدَ ذلك, ثُمَّ بَعْدَ ذلك, But afterwards, after that 
Kharaja Mahu, he went with him. So Abdullah ibn Mas'ud went with him. Layla Ukhra, another night. So guys, the first time Abdullah ibn Mas'ud wasn't with him, but in a different night, he was with him. <laughs> Translation. Musnad Ahmad, volume 6, page 337. The same page that we're showing, right? Same page that we're showing. Investigated by Shahi Barnaud. Guys, if you have issues with buffering, you need to refresh. It's from your side, not from my side. It's the internet. I think it's YouTube. Maybe they are doing updates or, I don't know, uh, to, to their platform. I have no idea. But it's buffering from so, for certain people on, in certain countries. I can't, do, I can't do anything about it. It's from your side. Okay? So read with me. And it's possible that Ibn Mas'ud wasn't with Muhammad the first time. He went to meet the jinn. Then after that, Ibn Mas'ud went with him on a different night. And Allah knows best. <laughs> Did you catch it? Then after that, Ibn Mas'ud went with him on a different night. Layla Ukhra. And Allah knows best. That's what the Arabic says also. We go back. ثُمَّ بَعْدَ ذَلِكْ خَرَجَ مَعَهُ He went with him. Layla Ukhra on a different night. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. And to make it even more worse, here is a Sahih Hadith. Here is a Sahih Hadith. It says here, Inna Ibn Mas'ud Absara Zattan. Right? So he saw a Zut, and he's explaining that they are from the Qawm Zut when he's being asked, Who are they? Ma hula? Qalu. They are the Zut. And the hadith is Sahih. Look, Sahih. Okay. And Ibn Mas'ud says, I did not see their likeness or in their shape except for the jinn during the night of the jinn. <laughs> so you see, even Abdullah ibn Mas'ud from, a, from his own mouth in this Sahih hadith, Khalasat Hakm al Muhaddith, Sahih. This is Imam al Dhabi, Al Muhaddith Imam al Dhabi. Did you catch it? And in the book called Tariq al Islam in the History of Islam by Imam al Dhabi, Volume 1, page 200, we have this Sahih Hadith. Translation Sahih Hadith. Reference Tariq al Islam, Volume 1, page 200. And by the way, let me give you the link so you can have it if any Muslim says Ibn Mas'ud wasn't there Ibn Mas'ud wasn't there you liars you bunch of liars it was narrated from Ab uh, Abi Uthman and Nahdi that Ibn Mas'ud saw a Zut he asked who are they he said these are a Zut he said I haven't seen anyone in their likeness except the jinn in the night of the jinn do you see how he, uh, Abdullah Ibn Mas'ud is describing these a Zut why does he know them? Because he saw, saw them when he was with Muhammad, being an eyewitness, seeing how these jinns were riding Rasulullah's anus when they were raping him. Your prophet got violated by penis-shaped jinns. Deal with it. And Ibn Mas'ud in this hadith, in this authentic hadith, in this sahih hadith, is confirming it. Sahih. Do you see it? Sahih. Let me drop the link again. Bookmark it, save it. Everybody, bookmark it, save it. This hadith is sahih, which refute the entire Muslim argument. You see, guys, again, Muslims don't know anything about their religion. They don't know anything about their religion that these penis-shaped jinns rode Rasulullah. Deal with it, Muslims. Look, these jinns were riding your Rasulullah. Deal with it. So what Muslims don't know again is that there were multiple nights. Some nights Abdullah bin Mas'ud wasn't an eyewitness. Some nights he was. Right? Sometimes he was. As an eyewitness there. Let us continue. What is another night? Thumma ba'da okay, dhalik, look, look. Faraja ma'ahu. Thumma ba'da dhalik. Then he Boom. went with him. Yeah, what is it the first he night? He went with him. What is it the first night? In the, in the uh, beginning, the first night. Because there's, there's, the there's one in the morning. There's one in the morning in Sahih Muslim. Nights, I'll show you. Watch. Multiple <laughs> nights. Stop interrupting, you coward. I'll show you. I'll show you. You coward, don't run. Stop interrupting. Guys, Paul notice. Interrupting. You interrupting. He, he keeps interrupting me, right, guys? He's interrupting because he know I just busted. And he busted himself, by the way. You guys already noticed from the same page that he was showing. 
But he's a liar. He wants to hide it after he got bust himself busted. What this idiot doesn't know is that there are multiple nights, multiple nights that uh, uh, Muhammad was approached by jinns. And I should I'm admitting, them, stop, stop interrupting, you coward. I am admitting in front of everybody and let everybody be my, my, the judge of that. There were multiple nights where the demons approached Muhammad because Muhammad was a satanic prophet. We know that. Some nights, Abdullah bin Mas'ud was... Oh, Jesus with became sin, so... Shh, shh. He keeps interrupting, do you see? Uh, guys, he wants to interrupt me because he knows I'm barbecuing him because he, d he doesn't know anything about this narration. You're this not even, no, you're not this even coward ice. doesn't know that his prophet was always being approached by demons. Not once, not twice, but many times, many nights. And even in, in, during the cave of Hira, but that's a different topic on itself. So guys, multiple nights, multiple incidents, and at least one of them, Abdullah bin Mas'ud was with him. Abdullah bin Mas'ud with him. And if I did not count them uh, correctly, guys, correct me if I'm wrong, there were at least six different nights. Not one, not two, not three, but six different nights that the demons approached Muhammad. No, there's six different nights. Hush, shh, 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 stop interrupting. Admins, last time he interrupts, okay? Last time. So guys, notice, six different nights, but at least in one of them, Abdullah bin Mas'ud, Muhammad took him with him, and Abdullah was inside the circle, circle, he was watching from inside the circle, how the demons were riding Rasulullah until sunrise, effing him, okay? I have nothing to do with it, I'm only a messenger, I'm reading what the text says. And even the Islamic books are admitting that there were multiple nights, Layla Ukhra, Wala Ghairaha. So there was another one. ثُمَّ بَعْدَ ذَلِكْ خَرَجَ مَعَهُ And afterwards, on another night, Abdullah bin Mas'ud went with him. Layla Ukhra on a different night. And King, you can, uh, uh, you can confirm it. So there, even the scholars are admitting that on another night, Abdullah bin Mas'ud was an eyewitness. Layla Ukhra. Do you see it, King? Can you can you confirm it, please, as an Arabic speaker? Hundred percent, bro. Hundred percent. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, right. do you see it? So, guys, we have another Arabic-speaking brother in Christ. He uh, knows Arabic as well, and he just confirmed because uh, I mean, we are Christians; we don't need to lie. He just confirmed the Arabic. It literally says that Abdullah bin Masoud went on a different night with Abdullah bin Masoud. Uh, sorry, Abdullah bin Masoud went with the Rasul on a different night, and he was an eyewitness. The scholars cannot deny it, and we just showed you a, a Sahih Hadith, right? We just showed you a Sahih Hadith. Uh, the debate is, is, is done, guys. So, uh, guys, uh, it's, it's game over. It's done. He can bring all kind of things on the table, but it's... Uh, I mean, this is just embarrassing, guys. It's embarrassing that Muslims... That Muslims don't know their, their references, they don't know their sources... I mean, look how many sources there are busting Muhammad. And remember, guys, remember that uh, these jinns, their penises always stay hard. What, what the uh, scholars say in the books, let me show you, actually. What, <laughs> I'm not kidding, guys. The penis-shaped jinns are always very hard, all right? They are always very hard. You see, I put here an uh, eggplant. <laughs> but these de uh, these penis-shaped jeans, their penises stay hard. Let me open uh, a book, guys, for you. Let me open a book for you. Look, guys. Here is a book, literally, an Islamic book uh, that I will put on the screen. Look, guys, this book here. Let me... Oh. Uh... Uh, why is this not working? Just a second, guys. Give me a second. It's, let me open it from a diff, from the browser itself. Okay, here. Let me zoom in. Okay. I go down to the book because uh, here we have all everything for you guys. The whole thing. Here we go down. Just a second. Go down. This book. This book here in front of us. Let me make it a little bit bigger. You see, guys, we have everything here. 
كتاب التشبيهات okay page two three one two three one two three one let me make it more big make me big brother make me big <laughs> look what it says here so uh, uh, here in this book on page what was it again page two three one it literally says uh, someone is describing this writer is describing how those uh, how the penis is giving a description for the penis of the penis of azot These are the demon-shaped, uh, sorry, penis-shaped jinn, right? And he's describing how their penises look like. I'm not kidding, right? Air means penis, min yur azut. So he's, he's giving a description of uh, 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 the, about the penises of the penises of the sh- of the jinn. They don't bend. They don't bend, and they uh, <laughs> and they don't don't go down. So guys, their penises are always strong. They do not bend. Their penises do not bend, and they don't go flat uh, or, or, or limp. Again, their penises, the penis, their penises, meaning the penises of the jinns, right? Do not bend. They do not bend, and their penises do not go limp. So. What is going on is, imagine these demon-shaped jinns are riding Rasulullah, these black qomuzot, <laughs> who look like a bunch of penises. When they are riding Muhammad, their penises are strong. They don't, their penises don't go soft. They stay erect. Did you catch it? The penises stay erect. <laughs> <laughs> So when they were riding Muhammad, their penises were very, very, very hard. LGBTQ upon him, yeah. <laughs> That's what it says here. They're, the penises of the Qawm Zut, the jinns, do not bend and they don't go soft. They stay erect. This is the description for the penises of the jinns. And this is again the book in front of us. To make it even more worse, to make it <laughs> even more worse, To make it even more worse, my Muslim friends. Look, look, here are, here are the black brothers, brothers. Uh, here is the black brothers who are going to write Rasulullah, brother. <laughs> to make it even more worse, I have all the books as you see, guys. And I put it here in a, uh, in a PDF form. <laughs> here on Ibn Abbas, and I have it also on Islam web. In a, I have the, uh, actually a translation, just give me a second here. I have a translation that I want to share with you guys. I have a translation for you about uh, what the shayateen do, what these jinns do. Uh, let's see. Where did I put it? Just a second. Because... Uh, The tafsir for the Quran explains, guys, that the shayateen, they are from, created from fire, right? The Quran also agrees that the shayateen are created from fire, smokeless fire. So when the shayateen are, uh, <coughs> when the shayateen are going to F Muhammad, these jinns are going to F Muhammad, we can find the following information. Now that we confirm that it happened to Muhammad, look what the shayateen do. Look, here is Ibn Abbas. Look, once a man told Ibn Abbas that his wife woke up and found a flame of fire in her vagina. Please call 911. Her vagina is on fire. Why is her vagina on fire, Ya Ibn Abbas? Ya Habr al-Ummah, the cousin of Muhammad, the scholar of the Ummah? He said, because, because why? Because sexual intercourse with a genie. So guys, Ibn Abbas explains... <laughs> <laughs> when this man, when he found his wife in the middle of the night, he saw that her f- vagina was uh, in fire. <laughs> That's because her wife had sex with a genie. And <laughs> his, her vagina is literally on fire. So guys, in other words, the anus of Rasulullah, the anus of Rasulullah, Muhammad, Muhammad was on fire. The anus is on fire. Rasulullah's anus is on fire, brother. 
The anus of Rasulullah is on fire, brothers and sisters. Do you see it? Since these genies are created from fire and they're causing a huge flame of fire, uh, Allah's anus, I mean Muhammad's anus was on fire. <laughs> and these are the Islamic sources, guys, look. I have nothing to do with it. This is literally a fatwa. Right? Devils assault humans and share win women with men. <laughs> and this is fatwa number. Fatwa number. Which fatwa number is it? There's a fatwa number here somewhere. 15,979. Let me give you the link. So, guys, it is confirmed that Muhammad's anus was on, was on fire. Relation between rela sexual relationship between mankind and jinn. So Muhammad had a sexual relationship with the jinn and they put his anus on fire. <laughs> Guys, I don't want to uh, uh <laughs> make it even more worse for the Muslims. Muslims, I really I really uh, I really uh, feel sorry for your prophet. I really feel sorry for for your prophet. Your prophet uh, was being gang raped by demons and they were penis shaped. You can defend it, you can run from it, you can throw everybody under the bus, but it's 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 very uh, authentic story. It's authentic. Guys, is there anybody who wants to uh, dial in or uh, are there questions about what we showed you guys? Are there questions about what we showed you today, what we talked about today? What do you think... Uh, what is your opinions, guys, about this debate? I mean, was it a good cooking? Did we fry him well rare, medium rare? I mean, it's embarrassing, man. I mean, this guy made the biggest mistake of his life in challenging me about this topic, the written prophet. He made the biggest mistake of his life. And I hope one day an imam will stand up and stop being coward. An imam or a sheikh, maybe a sheikh from Al-Azhar, I don't care what kind of shaky sheikh, he can challenge me or he will accept a challenge with me. I even, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to do a, a, former, a, a formal debate, a formal debate, right, about it. I don't care much about formal debates, to be honest. Because in the end, uh, crossfire is the best, right? You say what you say, I will give you some time and I will say what I say. But have some decorum if you want to debate. Have some self-respect. Don't interrupt. Uh, Ronin says, Ronin forty-seven says, brother, is it true that Muhammad was a crossdresser as well? Of course, that's a different topic. But yes, Muhammad was a crossdresser. Muhammad was a crossdresser, and let me show you how uh, Muhammad would have looked like. Let me show you how Muhammad would have looked like. I have a very Beautiful picture here. Guys, I have a very beautiful picture of Muhammad. Let's see. Let's see. Look, guys, this is Rasulullah. Look, Muhammad used to always dress looking like Aisha because he was in the clothes of Aisha. Radiallahu <laughs> anha. Wardaha. Muhammad was always putting clothes of Aisha on himself. And I challenge any Muslim to say, Rob, you're lying. Rob, you're lying. Look, if we go to Sahih al-Bukhari, if we go to Sahih al-Bukhari, we find this hadith. You see it? Sahih al-Bukhari. 2581. Aisha. Muhammad said, Divine revelation does not come to me in the garment of any woman except that of Aisha. Do you see it? The alphabet crew prophet. <laughs> so Muhammad would have looked like this, wearing the clothes of Aisha on him. The LGBTQ plus until the letter Z prophet. So do you think Muhammad would have dressed like this when he went to see the the demons who were taking turns on his anus, dressing like this. I don't know. We, we, we don't know. Manidri. Allahu alam. Allah knows best. Right? 
I mean, if this was my prophet, I would have been really, really embarrassed, right? Now, guys, if you go to sunnah.com, you'll see how people get deceived. Let me show you. If we go to the same Bukhari hadith, and this is when you need Arabic speakers, guys, like me. If we go to Sahih al-Bukhari 2581, let me show you how they deceive everybody. Sahih Bukhari 25 from sunnah.com. Eight one. I once had a debate with an, an Indonesian Muslim. He said, Rob, uh, you, uh, I'm going to bust you. I said, how? He said, well, on sunnah.com, it, it, it doesn't say garment of a woman. It says bed. Yes, he's correct. Look, if we go to the false translation, look what it says. This is the same hadith on sunnah.com, 2581. If I do beds, look. As divine, look, look what Muhammad said. He then said to her, to one of his wives, do not hurt me regarding Aisha as the divine inspirations do not come to me on any of the beds. How did uh, the thaw become a bed? The garment, the bed, except that the bed of Aisha? Does that what the Arabic, does the Arabic says that? No. If you go down, it doesn't say a bed. So they are lying about the Arabic. This is why we always say, Without lies, Islam dies. The Arabic is not talking about beds. It's talking about the garment of Aisha. The clothes of Aisha. Look. If we copy this part, this entire part, okay? Copy, okay? The Arabic, copy. And we put it in Google Translate to give you an idea how Muslims lie. Here is Google Translate. Google Translate. Ah, okay, don't play with me now. Okay, yeah, it's working. So if we copy this part, copy, paste. The revelation did not come to me while I was in the clothing of any woman other than Aisha. You see it? And if we take down this part, and this one too. What does it say? The dress of a woman, except of Aisha. Do you see how they lie, guys? We go back. Do you see how they lie in the false translation? Calling it beds? Where's the word beds in the Arabic? You filthy liars, scumbags. Where does it say beds? Only in the old false English translations. Did you catch it, guys? Do you see how Muslims deceive everybody and everyone? Do you see how Muslims deceive everyone and everybody? when they protect their false, embarrassing prophet. Yeah, guys, I know it, uh, today is one of these days where the internet connection in some countries to YouTube is not really stable, but it's, I have nothing to do with it. This is YouTube, I, don't, I can't help it. Uh, this is the live stream, guys. Refresh, maybe restart your computer, whatever, do what you gotta do. But from my end, everything is okay. So it's some certain countries, we have some lagging. But if you are in the West, I don't think you have that issue. All right. You see, someone is saying the internet is good on my end. So it's some people have issues, but it's not because of us. So you see, guys, how they lie? So yes, Muhammad was a cross-dressing prophet. He was a supporter of LGBTQ+. Plus. All right. Any Muslim? Is there any Muslim? Is there any Muslim who dares to call us live on air, guys, before we close the live stream? Is there any Muslim there? Is there any Muslim who dares to debate me about this? Or about today's topic? Bryce makes says they don't dare. Well, uh, yeah, <laughs> story of my life. And if one of them becomes a, a, a man and he wants to debate me, he will get slaughtered live on air. Because we are immune for the lies. We know Arabic and we can show you how they lie in their fake English translations. Right? Rob is CP's twin. Uh... We are brothers from the from uh, a different mother, guys. CP, brother CP and I, we are brothers from a different mother.
Where were you born? In the Middle East, of course. This is why Arabic is one of my native languages. I speak Aramaic as well. So I speak the language of Christ, Aramaic, and also speak Arabic. This is why we are immune, guys, for all of these lies. Any Muslim? Yeah, I'm as, as old as Muhammad when he split the moon of Aisha in half. Guys, I'm, uh, I found new books. Let me tell you what I'm going to do uh, in the near future. I found new books. Uh, these are very academic books that I found. Uh, I will do videos in the, in the future. I'm not sure when, why. Pray for my uh, health, guys. I'm not fully recovered yet. But uh, keep me in your prayers so that we can come back even harder than ever. Uh, I am working on the translations of these books that I received, that I found. Uh, and I, uh, I will show everybody that the Quran of Uthman, with new material, glory to Christ, with new material, that the Quran of Uthman is missing. The Quran of today is not the Quran of Uthman at all. I have literal, literal proof that the Quran of Uthman does not exist anymore. Uh, Rob, were you a Muslim? I just told you that Aramaic is my native tongue. So how could I ever be a Muslim? I am uh, a Christian from the Middle East, guys, originally. i never been a Muslim. God forbid. That would be a huge insult. <laughs> Are there any other questions, guys? Guys, if you had, uh, if you have problem uh, with the connection, from it's from your end again. You really need to rewatch today's live stream and take notes how to expose Muslims about this topic, about today's topic, about today's debate that I had. Rewatch the live stream again, guys. Uh, hopefully, the admins, Dragon Deniers, if it's not too much, ask sister, can you do the timestamps again? Provide the timestamps. Would that be possible? Uh, I know that a brother, Phil Horea, Phil Horea here, and sister Dragon and Ears, they will work on the timestamps, uh, Lord willing. And they also will provide their references that we used in the comment section after the, the, the debate. So with a, within a couple of hours, go back, rewatch the live stream again, and you can uh, take all, all the references and you can have access to the timestamps as well if you want to skip through scenes and whatnot. So Dragon the Nearest, is that possible? Could you work on the timestamps as well, sister? Glory to Christ. We have many amazing warriors, guys. Keep all the warriors in your prayers. Support all the warriors. There are really a handful of warriors out there who, are, who can do what we do, guys. Support the warriors. All of them. I know it's a risk. I know it's a risk, guys, to expose Islam. Your life is immediately uh, at risk. But this is, this is a choice that we are willing to take. I know my life is always at risk. You have no idea how many death threats I receive on a weekly basis. But I don't care. We are here to stay. As, the, as long as the Lord will, wants us to stay. And if it's the time for us to go back home to the Lord, then so be it. Okay, sister, thank you. Thank you. God bless you. You see, guys, Sister Dragon and Ears will provide the timestamps and Brother Phil Herrera will provide the references in the comment section under this video, guys, under this very live stream that you're watching. Uh, keep all the warriors, keep all the brothers and sisters, all the Christians on this planet who are being persecuted in the name of our Lord and Savior, the name above all names, the true living God of the Holy Bible, the historical Jesus Christ, our living Lord and Savior and God. Keep all the brothers and sisters out there in your prayers. Keep all of us in your prayers, guys. Many countries, Indonesia, Armenian Christians in Armenia, in the Middle East, even Christians in, in Palestine, all of them, keep them in your prayers, guys. Everywhere where Christians are suffering, in Egypt, Middle East, Syria, Turkey, everywhere. Afghanistan, Pakistan, everywhere, guys. Guys, I think it's a good idea to wrap things up. Thank you for being here, guys. Uh, I'm so happy that I could. I went live again after so many weeks. 
We're alive together again. This is a blessing. I, I was with my family. Thank you for your amazing support, family in Christ. I love you. Pray also for our admins. Don't forget about the admins. They're always doing an amazing job. They also upload, as you see here, Sister Inda, and another amazing sister. She'll re-upload this live stream on her channel. So make sure to also subscribe. Go to her YouTube channel, guys, this amazing sister, and subscribe to her YouTube channel. And also Sister Dragon in Ears also has her own uh, 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 live stream. I know, guys, extreme buffering, it's not from my end, it's from your end. You see, uh, Satan didn't want us today. She was trying to end the live stream because we were barbecuing his uh, demon uh, raped, gang raped prophet. But glory to Christ, the live stream continued. Go with the peace of Christ, everybody. I love you. Thank you for your amazing support, for your amazing prayers, for your continued prayers, even when we are in a difficult time in our lives. But uh, glory to Christ because of your prayers, guys. We are here again. Uh, pray for me that I will be fully healed and can continue and come back even harder than ever. And as long as I can and the Lord wants us to do, then I will continue doing short video clips, but also live streams. All for the glory of Christ. Again, as always, guys, every knee will bow. Every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. And Muhammad is nothing but a fraud, a demon-possessed, a gang-raped prophet by demons who were always visiting him. Muhammad was always demon-possessed. Please, Muslims, drop Muhammad, drop Islam, and come back home to your Lord and my Lord, the true living God, Jesus Christ. Glory to his name. Everything for Jesus Christ. All the glory for Christ. We're here to serve, and we are here to stay, guys. I love you. See you very soon again in a new live stream. God bless. Backup channel, please subscribe. Did you subscribe, guys?